Oh yeah, that was Eddie LaVert's little boy, Gerald, with his latest call, I'd Give Anything. I'm Donnie Simpson, my guest today on Video Soul. Uh, knew at a very early age that she had the talent to make it. As a matter of fact, in the middle of uh, giving her sixth grade graduation speech, she emphatically proclaimed that Karen White will succeed. Obviously, she's clairvoyant because she has indeed succeeded, and we welcome her to Video Soul. That's Is that a true story? Is that one of them Abraham Lincoln no, stories? No, really. It was a speech called, In This Chain of Success, Let Me Be a Link, and I was valedictorian. I was always trying to run things as a kid. Mm -hmm. You could ask any of my elementary school friends. They say, well, they used to call me Karen White when I was in a, like elementary. Like, mm -hmm. Karen White. Hi, Karen White. Well, they had to use the last name, huh? <laughs> yeah. Respect. So it's funny. I guess I just, you know, it starts from, you know, even if it wasn't music. I mean, a success is an attitude, and I think, you know, if you have it in you, can do anything. Yeah, well, that's very true. Those are good words for a lot of people out there yeah. that wonder if they can make it. But that, that is very true. You can definitely make it. Karen White, from the beginning. Huh? <laughs> Did your parents yeah. call you Karen White? <laughs> oh, no, please. They were like, oh, no. We aren't having this here. You can leave that at school, right? <laughs> Get those grades, you know. So when did you start singing? Whew, started singing early. I was about, the first thing I did was a pageant. It was called the Little Miss Ebony Pageant. Mm -hmm. And I sang a song, um, Somewhere Over the Rainbow. And mm. I was five years old. Wow. But I always loved it. I was never afraid of it. I loved getting at, at social functions with my family. I loved showing off. I loved imitating Diana Ross. Uh-huh. So it just, you know, I thought it was glamorous until I really stepped in and got to be in this business. Then I w understood that it's really 90% business. It's really, and I really try and stress that to people who say, how do you know I want to be a singer, I want to be an entertainer. Mm -hmm. I say, you know, you really have to learn the business just like you would if you want to be an attorney. You know, we have to study. There are books out there. And don't just look at the glamour because that doesn't last. You know, you got to use your brain. You got to be able to be an entrepreneur and take this and then, you know, work it into other situations. And that's, you know, I'm, that's what I'm about. That's what yeah. I want to do. Well, it's good. It doesn't, it, it never discouraged you, though, that, that it was that. I mean, I would think that a lot of people, if they wanted to be an artist and all of a sudden they find, God, it's 90% yeah. business, would be a little bit disappointed. It did. It definitely. I mean, that's probably one of the reasons why I took so long. Um, just kind of got away from the, the business for a while to have a child and also mm -hmm. just to really make sure that family was important to me, too. But it's really on-the-job training. You can't really prepare for it because I didn't yeah. know what was going to happen especially having success the first time out it's very hard because um, you know no one tells you know no one can really explain what the situation is different for everyone mm -hmm. so I was really worn out <laughs> I toured for like a year and a half with the first album yeah I learned so much uh, you know um, ooh, a lot a lot a lot <laughs> you know you know as far as the business is concerned you know every time I wanted to like voice my opinion and say this is how I want to look you know I was considered that B word and a mm. man can do it and he's just confident knows what he wants so right. being a woman that was hard too yeah that's very true though it's sad yeah, but it's it true yes it is but you know you have to just you know stand for what you believe in and um, be consistent and mm -hmm. you know things will work out yeah. trust the Lord pray yeah <laughs> <laughs> Now, uh, Terry was telling me when you first got married, when you first came to Minneapolis, that you slept for about six months oh, straight. God. He said you only woke I up to did. eat. Yeah, you were that true. tired. I was, from... I'm telling you, Donnie, I was worn. I mean, it was just, I had a lot of friends with me on the road. Mm -hmm. They were driving me crazy. I was trying to, I mean, you know, I didn't know how to deal with that. It yeah. was like, okay, you know, just get out there. So, yeah, I was tired. I slept. And it was so funny because um, he's you know, definitely correct. And then... After I hibernated, I was, <laughs> I was ready again. <laughs> but people don't realize that, you know, just the sacrifices that, this, that you have to make. Yeah. And that's why, you know, people say, well, I used to see people, you know, out, you know, because I've been away for a couple of years. And, you know, when are you going to make that next album? You know, I want to do it. But it's like the society, I mean, not society, but the, the music business doesn't really care about if you have family. It's like, you know, right. put records out. We don't really care what's going on in his personal life. Just right. You know, that's, you know, and fans are like that too sometimes. So mm -hmm. I just really want to make sure that I had together the most important thing to me, and that is still my family, because they'll be there if I sell no records or, uh, you know, two million. So right. that's important to me. Right. But it's got to be difficult. I mean, because you want your career too. But yeah, so you to try do. to balance it all. Yeah, it, it's, it's, yeah, it's hard balancing it, but I, it's. I don't know. If you ask me what success means to me, it would be able to be able to do both. And mm. I don't want to sacrifice. I wouldn't. I don't want to be one of those performers that look up, you know, 10 years or 
from now and go, what happened, you know? Yeah. Uh, you know, I don't have a life. <laughs> hmm. And so I think, you know, there was a sacrifice, but I guess I was willing to pay it because I did spend the time and make sure that I got to see my daughter grow up. So mm -hmm. I just hope, and I'm really, I mean, I'm so glad that, you know, this record is being received well and, and that my fans and, the, you know, are, are looking forward to, you know, hearing this new album. Make him do right, make him do right. That's my job, Karen. I'm supposed to do that. Karen, the new know. album, Make Him Do Right, available in stores tomorrow. Did I take it? I'm sorry. Yeah, that's my job. No, I'm but supposed I'm, to, I'm excited, I want to hold your CD. Okay. Thank okay. you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you you, you got to be excited to have it out because you have been away for a while. Yeah, yeah, and it's, you know, it is important, and it's an important record for me. Now, Jimmy and Terry did most of it, but I understand Babyface did a couple of songs, too. Yes, Babyface, and also Daryl Simmons um, uh, did something, and McKinley mm -hmm. Horton and Jellybean Johnson. It was really cool this time because um, on the second project, I was really on everyone's nerves, as far as Jimmy and Terry, mm -hmm. because I was nervous. You know, how do you follow up when you have a classic like Superwoman, how do you follow mm -hmm. that up? So mm -hmm. I felt like, and then I had a lot of different kind of hits, up-tempo ballads, so I was kind of confused. And you know, what do I do? Do I do ballads, do I do up tempos? do I do pop? Do I? And I felt like on that album, I kind of tried to reach everybody. But with this album, I felt secure. You know, after you have a baby, you go through, you know, being fat, losing the weight, just, you know, a lot yeah. of soul searching. So I feel like, you know, mm -hmm. this is probably the most representative of, of me. This is probably my favorite album. Really? Mm -hmm. Great, okay. Yep. Well, we're going to get to see you do a couple cuts from it later on, right? Yeah. All right. We look forward to that. Karen White is going to perform later on. Please give my love to, to Terry and, and the kids. And the kids. Oh, and yeah. Jimmy and Lisa, huh? Jimmy and Lisa, right. <laughs> okay. Those are the kids I was speaking of. <laughs> oh, no. I know. Have you seen the Ebony article? Yeah. It's major, it. huh? Yeah, it's major. <laughs> if you haven't seen that, pick up Ebony and pick look at, at Jimmy Jam's house. Woo! Jimmy and Lisa. Fabulous. Oh, it's the baddest house I've ever seen. It is. Now, when you guys are going to build, I got to tell this real quickly. Okay. All okay. right. Now, Terry, uh, or Jimmy's house is like 20,000 square feet. Mm -hmm. And I remember Terry telling me, I don't want anything that big. It's just too big. Just, it's just too much. So. You get through yours, it's 24,000. <laughs> <laughs> no, but. It's, what happened? No, no, no. We use space. You know, we have like an under, uh, we have a gym, a ba basketball court. We use the same space that Jimmy did, but we just use like underneath the, the oh, garages and stuff. We use that whole, you know, but we have a family too, so. Yeah. We have nannies and. Yeah, I know. The <laughs> nannies <laughs> have nannies. I'm just. <laughs> <Yeah. When laughs> the have, dog has a butler. Um, no, don't <laughs> know. Oh, this is major. Yeah, the, it's a Under blessing. the garages. There's something in that. Not many people can say garages. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's, it's a blessing. Believe yeah. me, I have to oh, thank I the Lord every day to, you know, to be able to to achieve something and it works so hard and have it pay off. No, you deserve it all. You really do. Oh, thank you. Good, both of you. Anyway, thanks for coming by. <laughs> You're welcome. Good and to we, see you. You too. Oh, oh, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Karen. Okay. Thank you. Uh, Karen is going to perform a little later on, so don't go away. <laughs> we'll be back in a couple of minutes right here on Video Soul. <laughs>